Hey guys, MG here from MGCovers.com, bringing you another NHL betting preview for February the 14th, 2019. We're going to give you a complete breakdown, statistical analysis, including our free picks at the end. Have a huge card tonight. Happy Valentine's Day. As always, I'm always looking for value. So if you have a significant other, a very huge value play would be to give your significant other a hug. It, it doesn't cost anything, and it has huge value. Okay, joke for the day. Let's get started. Okay, power rankings for tonight's game start out with Calgary. They are the favorite, but on the road at minus 141. Power ranking of 110. Florida at home, the dog plus 120. Also a power ranking of 110, so we do have some value there. We will look at that game. Next, New York Islanders at plus 125. At one time, they were a 120 power ranking. They've actually gone down a little bit, not playing well at 102 power ranking, going against Columbus on the road. Columbus is the favorite, minus 147. We have them at a power ranking of 122. No value there. <clears throat> Next game, Ottawa, plus 120, starting to play a little bit better. 107 power ranking, playing Detroit at minus 141. They are a power ranking of 90. So we do have value there. And if this is the first time you're watching this video, the first thing we look for in our power rankings is we look for value. We use uh, most relevant stats, the last 10 games. It's a combination of even strength goal differential, power play percentage, and also penalty kill percentage. We use that to create a power ranking. Uh, this past example, you look, um, we in our power rankings, Ottawa is better than Detroit, even though the odds are reversed. So there's value there in that means that we will look at that game further on to the next game dallas at plus 162 their power ranking is 97 facing uh tampa bay at home tampa bay's minus 180 they have a power ranking of 127 i'm telling you I, I, tampa bay is the best team in the nhl no doubt and i doubt it just seems at this point there's nobody in the nhl that can beat these guys in a series so definitely the uh favorite to win the stanley cup no doubt playing great hockey next game colorado at plus 150 they're uh Near the bottom of our power rankings at 77, playing Winnipeg at home. Winnipeg, 172 odds. They have a power ranking of 92, no value there. <clears throat> Next game, Montreal at plus 144. Have a power ranking of 111, facing Nashville, who is the favorite at minus 160. They have a power ranking of 102. We do have value in that game. We will look at it. Uh, next game, New Jersey at plus 135. They have a power ranking of 88. Uh, playing Chicago at home, minus 165. They have a power ranking of 112. Now, no value on the money line, but we're actually going to look at the puck line in this game. We'll explain that in great detail. I think it's the first time in the video we've actually looked at a puck line. Uh, so we will uh, examine that one further just using the puck line. Next game, St. Louis, minus 156. They have a power ranking of 96. Going on the road to play Arizona, who is the dog at plus 135. They have a power ranking of 85. Uh, no value there. <clears throat> Next game, Toronto, plus 106. They are the dog. Have a power ranking of 107. Facing the struggling Las Vegas Knights at home, minus 125, even though they have a power ranking of 88. Again, this is a value situation. We will look at Toronto in this example. Next game, Washington, plus 150. Again, starting to play a little bit better, not back to where they once were. Uh, but starting to play a little bit better. Uh, going on the road to face San Jose, very powerful offense. They're minus 172. They have a power ranking of 106, no value in that game. And finally, our last game, Vancouver plus 120. Finally, somebody, I mean, Anaheim finally won a game, and it was against Vancouver, so I know Anaheim was pumped, probably disappointing for Vancouver. They have a power ranking of 91. Going on the road to face Los Angeles, uh, listed at minus 143. They have a power ranking of 100. No value is there. No value there as well. Okay, now for games that we're going to examine further, we call this the money line conversion page. And if you're new to the uh, channel or the first time you're watching one of our videos, we use a stat model that helps us create value. But you can't just have a stat model alone to base your plays on. You have to look at different situations, which is this is kind of like the uh, subjective angles. I like to call these situational angles. So you have to have situational angles in your favor in addition to value, which gives you the most uh, predictable outcome and also gives you extreme value and a better chance of winning a game. So the first game we're going to look at is Florida. 
Odds are plus 120. Our line for this game is minus 125, which gives Florida a 55% chance of winning the game. Let's take a look at our situational angles here. We have no goalie advantage. Uh, both goalies are average. Um, I put that in there twice. That's an error. My bad. Although uh, we have Florida as the favorite in this game, they've only won two of their last five. Calgary's not playing as well at all. Florida's only 12-10 and uh, 10 at home. Calgary has a huge, uh, nice uh, winning away record at 17-11. So, again, not enough situational angles there for us to play Florida. So, we're going to pass on this game. Next game is Ottawa. Uh, the line is plus 120. Our line is minus 115, giving Ottawa a 53% chance of winning the game. Um, <clears throat> Ottawa has won two of its last eight games. One of those games was against Anaheim. So, again, not playing well. Uh, something else that stands out, Ottawa has probably the worst road record in NHL. They're only 7 of 18 on the road. And the reason I bring this uh, stat, you're talking about um, road – I'm sorry – the reason we bring out the road record is this. A lot of times you'll see stats listed on odds uh, pages that really don't have any relevance. Like they'll say um, uh, Ottawa is 7-1 and one on Tuesday night games, which the, the players aren't conscious of, the, of that stat. But a stat like 7-18 of 18 on the road, players are very conscious of that stat, which means that factors into their confidence. Um, you know, they're, they're packing up, getting ready to go on the road. Before they went on the road trip, they're thinking, oh, man, we do not play well on the road. They're conscious of that. Same deal with, you know, like a team like Vegas or Pittsburgh that plays well at home. They know that. Like, hey, we're playing at home tonight. We have a good chance of winning. That builds confidence, and it's something that you have to factor. So, anyway, back to the game. Considering all those, uh, we don't have enough situational angles. Probably not going to play that game. On to the next game, Montreal. Heavy dogs here at plus 144. We have the line at Montreal minus 130 giving them a 56% chance of winning the game. Price has won his last four out of five games. Um, Montreal has won three of its last five games. Their two losses came in overtime. So when you look at this game, we have a goalie advantage. Um, they also have a, a winning road record. They're playing with a lot of confidence, a game we may end up playing. On to the next game, Chicago. And this is, again, the first time we've explored the puck line. So Chicago... Uh, puck line is plus 170. Now, I'm going to explain the puck line. It's very similar. You have the run line in baseball. What this means is Chicago is an underdog to win the game by at least two goals. So, Chicago has to win the game 5-3, uh, to 4-2 to two in order for this to be a winning wager. Now, we look at a lot of different angles when we're evaluating the puck line because, again, it is a rare occurrence. Uh, most NHL games are decided by one goal. So in order to evaluate this, here's how we do it. New Jersey, four of its last seven losses, they have lost by two. So we have an advantage there. We have a, per a percentage that favors us. Montreal, and their seven last seven wins, they've won by two goals four of the seven times. Now, this is very important stat when you're looking. It's probably the most important stat when you're looking at um, puck line. You have to compare one team's power play percentage against the other team's penalty kill to see if you have an advantage. Chicago, the last 10 games, they have a very, very good offense. They're at 36% on the power play in the last 10 games. New Jersey, only 79% penalty kill. That favors uh, Chicago. Uh, Snyder, who is in the uh, pipes for New Jersey, has given up in his last three or five games, he's given up three or more goals. Cam Ward in the pipes for Chicago has held opponents to two goals or less in three of his last five. So when we factor all that in, do you have to, again, when we wager, we have to have at least a 50% chance of, of winning the wager. So do we at least have a 50% chance of Chicago winning by two? Yes, we do, and our payoff is huge at plus 170. So more than likely, that's going to be a play as well. Finally, our last game, uh, Toronto, plus 106 odds. Um, our line is minus 115 in favor of Toronto. Toronto has a winning road record. They're playing with a lot of confidence. Check this out. They've won six of their last seven games. Not really a goalie advantage either way. Uh, Vegas has only won two of its last eight. Not playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, we definitely like Toronto in this. 
So let's give you my plays for today and wrap this up. First off, we're going to play Montreal at plus 170. We're going to play Chicago in the puck line, minus one and a half at plus 170. And finally, Toronto at plus 108. So guys, thanks for watching so much. We enjoy making these videos. If you like this video, if it helps you, click the like button. Also, subscribe for more content. Check us out on Instagram. We have a link in the description box. We give you a lot of updates throughout the day, different odds, different angles. And also our website at mgcovers.com. So whoever you're wagering on tonight, good luck.